been trying to drag everything in here to start this live. <sighs> right, let me just clean my lens. Right. Hello, hello, hello. Now, as you can see, I've got a little bit of makeup on today, but um, I've just come from Foot Health and to get my repeat prescription. So, um, not very organised and in a lot of pain today. But um, YouTube looks different every week. It keeps throwing up different things. Hello, everyone. I'm going to work. Hello there, Emma. So I thought today I would show you some of the things I've got recently and some of the prezzies I got because it was my birthday on Tuesday. <laughs> Had to think then. Thank you, Nina. Hello, Emma. And I've got so many things stacked up, right, to do videos for you guys. And because I've not been well, I I just, you know, I've been lying down. I'm going to give you a little update. So I'm going to, instead of just you waiting for ages to see all these individual items, which I will be doing, and I've got one coming out. I've actually edited most of it, uh, but my other half stayed with me for a couple of days as a kind of birthday treat. He took, he took some time off and we didn't do a hell of a lot because of my leg but it was just nice having him here so i'm going to put out that video definitely going to put it out tonight which is a comparison of the two makeup forever palettes okay hello there rachel hello maria thank you for everyone saying happy birthday so i've got loads and loads of stuff either that i treated myself to or that other people treated me to. And I thought, why don't I show you some of it? And then actually, if you think, oh, I'm really interested in that, Ali, can you do that video next after the one that you put out this evening? Then I know what order to do them in, okay? Now, I've been in tremendous pain, but I've, I'm, I'm feeling mentally a lot more able to cope with things because I saw my doctor I managed having rang every day at eight in the morning and got continual engaged 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 I finally managed to get through yesterday at 26 minutes past eight and you know your phone only logs 200 calls it had gone past that right so I I'd literally been doing that on my phone to just kind of keep dialing. I finally got through at 26 minutes past eight and then had to explain my history in a nutshell to a receptionist um, and so that I could get an appointment. Anyway, I managed to see the partner. Hello, Terry. I managed to see the partner of the practice who was actually very thorough and he said, right, told him I, I couldn't wait bear properly since Christmas. He said, first of all, I have no doubt that you're in pain. I can see it. Phew. And he said, and I secondly, I have no doubt that it's your knee because everybody's been going on about, oh, could it be from your back? And maybe they need to look at your back first before we do anything. And maybe, oh, and it, it's been driving me nuts, right? And everybody's been passing me on. So he said, I've got no doubt it's your knee. And he said, I think that you probably torn a cartilage in your knee. And he said, no pain relief is going to get rid of that. It's besides the fact he can't give me anything more because of the amount that I'm on. He said, every time you put your foot down on the floor, it's going to feel like somebody's sticking a needle into your knee. And I said, that's exactly how it feels. And that's how it's felt since Christmas, by the way. And I said, it's affecting my mental health now. So he's referring me. He said, we've got to refer you for an x-ray before we can get an ultrasound. And we've got to do the ultrasound before we can get the MRI. He said, so let's start the ball rolling. And he's on it. So, yes, I've still got 
at least three weeks before anyone's going to come up with any answers, let alone any treatment. But someone's forging ahead trying to find out what I've done. So mentally, I can cope now because before all I could see was a dark cloud ahead of me and I'd have days with you guys where I was all upbeat and then the next day I was bleh, down. And I'll be honest, I'm in horrendous pain right now, but I can cope with it mentally and I can cope with doing this video mentally because there's a way ahead. All right, all of that's out the way. So I'm going to say hello, Terry. Hello, Sunshine. Hello, Nina. Hello, Rachel. Hello, everybody from the crew. Hello, 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 hello. Right. Let me start. So some of the birthday goodies, some of the other things that I haven't shown you yet that I wanted. Now, you saw last week my With Love Cosmetics glitter palette with all the glitters in it, which, of course, I need to do a video on. The other thing was that they were giving away free gifts and I got a couple of free gifts. And this was when they were selling the um, <clears throat> the glitters for charity. So one of them was this pigment, this loose pigment, which actually looks beautiful. And I haven't even had a chance to open it yet. Look, actually, that is... My do you know what? That is my kind of, it's a, it's a duochrome that's gold pink. Now it looks pink now, doesn't it? This is a problem when you show duochrome chromes on camera, is that they only show you, you've got to get it at an angle to show both. But actually when you turn it into another light, it goes gold. It's gold pink. Now, I'm seeing it gold. You're seeing it pink. But trust me, it's gold pink. Look, there. That is fairy dust. Yes. So I got that free. I might put a bit of that on today. Now, you can see that before I went out to foot health today, just to give me a lift. Again, I'm so sick of going out with no makeup on because I'm too much in pain. Hello, Aisha. Um, that I thought I'm going to put some makeup on. And so I put some foundation on. I'm going to tell you what in a second. And I'm going to repeat this. There's few things that I would come back to. I've got so much Charlotte Tilbury, so much Charlotte Tilbury, that I have to really rotate, rotate, rotate. Right? And I go, you know, I get bored. And so I, I kind of... I rotate so much that I don't come back to the same thing more than once probably in a month because I've got so much stuff of Charlotte Tilbury. But one thing that I come back to a lot, more than once a month, and definitely every week, and it's still available even though it was a special edition. So I'm going to, I've just got to repeat this. Because this is my kind of must-have Charlotte Tilbury item. And I was trying to find the box because I was showing it to my sister before I came on the live. So that you could see what the box looks like. But as usual, I've put it down in a safe place and lost it. Anyway, this is the, this is the duo. This is the pillow talk. Now... It's probably come away because my eyes were watering. But this is an absolute essential, you guys. I, I cannot recommend it enough. It's got two shades. It's got the Pillow Talk and it's got Pillow Talk, Smoky Pillow Talk, it's called. You can only get this in this set. And it's a set of two and it's still available on Charlotte Tilbury's website. Go and shop around. Have a look in... Um, ASOS and all the other department stores that sell Charlotte Tilbury because you might be able to get money off, right? But I definitely, I'm just going to retouch this, right? I definitely recommend this because in the morning it is so easy and so quick when you've been putting your compression stockings on 
and you've been putting your dressings on and you haven't got time to do to put your makeup on other than about two minutes before you got to go out the door you literally scribble on pillow talk like that on your lid and then you take your smoky one which needs sharpening but never mind and you literally just do that right and then just take your fingers like so and you're literally out the door out the door and it looks obviously clean this but you've got working time to clean it up and we're talking about if you've literally got no time whatsoever right you're literally out the door and how quickly was that i, I was a bit deliberately a bit sloppy there but look how pretty is that? And then you can put some of the smoky eye pencil underneath. This is my top Tilbury item for the year. With all the things you've bought out, you need this set. It's going to look great on every single... Um... Oh, you subscribe. Oh, right. Hang on. I, I thought they weren't coming up, but Ali hasn't seen them. Right. What haven't I seen? Yes, I'm seeing all the comments. I'm just so busy kind of chatting about this that I I um I got to I think that's fairy dust pigment and I've seen hello everybody. Hello Aisha. Hello Stacy. Um did I not say hello to Stacy? Hello Amanda. Hello Amanda Barboso. Thank you. Happy belated birthday. Where's the set available, Ali? Right, the set is available on Charlotte Tilbury. Now, it may be exclusive to Charlotte Tilbury. Right, it may be exclusive. I should have done my homework. I didn't have time to do my homework before. But I would definitely say of all the items that Charlotte Tilbury has bought out this year, that you this is going to suit every skin tone, whether you've got blue eyes, brown eyes, green eyes you name it it's going to suit every skin tone it's going to, I, i'm going to sound like charlotte tilbury now but I, I i don't mind doing that when i believe in a product and i believe in these the annoying thing is you cannot buy this pencil separately you've got to get it in the set right but it's so easy look at it and you've done your makeup. Now you can go along. You can't put these in the waterline, but you can go along and line your upper lid. And let me tell you that this smoky colour chameleon, smoky pillow talk shade, is exactly the same as her pillow talk eyeliner, just in a chunkier format and easier to kind of blend away. And I'm going to. I'm going to put my glasses on for a minute and find the box because it was here. I definitely was showing it to my sister, right? And then I'm going to move on to my birthday things. Um, it's just such an easy look to achieve. The only thing that you cannot do with this colour chameleon that you can do with the Pillow Talk eyeliner is you can't put this in the waterline. But you can put it, you can line it underneath, you can line it over the top, but you can't put it up there and you can't put it in the waterline, right? That's the only thing, but so quick, so easy, right? Oh, you've got the link. Has somebody got the link? Right, let me, I'm going to put this on. I'm going to put this on. My glasses that need a clean. And I'm going to find that box that I was showing my sister. Hold on a second, guys. Let me see if I can find it quickly because I've got the box. I kept the box. And I literally... How come I was showing it to my sister and it's... Oh, here it is. Here it is. That's what the box looks like. That's what it comes in. 
and it's called see I've still got a pillow talk color chameleon in the box because I bought one separately it's called the eye enhancing beauty secrets kit okay I don't think anyone I can honestly say that I don't think anyone would regret that purchase but I do have a feeling it might be exclusive to charlottetilbury.com. So maybe you can't get it from Aldi, uh, Aldi, ASOS and, and other places. Um, but that's what it looks like. That is my must buy of the year. If you're ever in a rush and you need to put a really quick look on, and if you have got a bit more time, it makes a perfect base for your other pillow talk products because what that will do is it will help the other things stick so it's a no win so for example if i wanted to put now i can't wait to try this but if i wanted to put a little bit of this pigment from with love cosmetics it's going to stick really well because it sticks to that color chameleon Colour Chameleon acts as glue for a pigment. So if you've got any pigments at home, but you find that they sort of fall all over the place, Colour Chameleons are great for that, or as a base for your eyeshadows in general. It still looks pink on me, but I trust me, it's a, they look, you can see it's gold pink. It's beautiful. I've just realised that Charlotte Tilbury's never bought out loose pigments, has she? Yet. You think that this may have been on the John Lewis site? Yeah, well, have a look and see. What I'll do when I come off the live is I will find a load of links. If it's not exclusive to the Charlotte Tilbury website, I will find you a load of links and I'll try and shop around for the cheapest buy. But it's definitely you were it's just I've used it so much. I've used it so much that look, I need to sharpen this. Right? And I just use it all the time when I'm in a rush. Because let's face it, we don't always have time to put a one hour. It's lovely when we do, but or, or to sit there and think what palette am I gonna use? You just want to look decent before you go out the door and you just do and a red lipstick and I look like I'm done up like a dog's dinner not like a dog's dinner the other item I would say this is my second favorite item and it's the other item I've got on my eyes is the classic powder pencil I'm sorry I said this was going to be my birthday thing and it's like my top two must-haves of Charlotte Tilbury makeup right but the powder pencil in black is so good and I know I talked about this last week but what I quickly did is just put some of this I didn't have time for mascara and if I put mascara on early in the morning it makes my eyes water but just a bit of that in the waterline and it immediately makes your eye your eyelashes look thicker and it's so soft this pencil and it's very forgiving of mistakes and easy to draw a line. Now, I find with the rock and coal formula that it sometimes makes my eyes water, but not the powder pencil. And for some reason, the black one, I wasn't that impressed with the other two, but then I got the original and I don't know if they've changed the formula, but the black one is so, look, it's so easy. I'm just literally stroking my hands. So easy to get a really black line. Brilliant. So if you're doing a little Charlotte Tilbury shop, those are my top two. Definitely, definitely. That and the duo. And I'm not being paid, as you know, to say that at all. And I'm not afraid of saying that something's rubbish. Do you remember the um, lip tints? I threw them over my shoulder. Thank you. 
Now, the, what I've got on my... This is leading in now to my birthday treats. Either to myself or... Um, I may be wrong, but the packaging looked familiar. Oh, what? Well, and the, you saw it on John Lewis. Yeah. It's possible. You like the purple top? Thank you, Shahina. This was my guilty purchase from Marks and Spencers two years ago that I've worn and worn and worn and worn. This top cost me a hundred quid and I thought it was so extravagant, but it is so comfortable. It's pure cashmere and I got the matching skirt, which cost me another hundred quid. And I've worn it so much that the cost per wear is now something like 25B. So even though I felt incredibly guilty, it's it's earned its money. Because when I'm in pain, there's no buttons, there's nothing. It just, you slip it on and it's just really comfortable. It keeps you warm when you're cold. It keeps you cool when you're hot. Love it. Now, talking of extravagances, do you remember that I bought this when I was medically retired? And I haven't bought it all in. It comes with a little, it comes with a little thing and a little brush. Here it is. And it's a foundation with a concealer on the top. And it's obscenely expensive, but such a good match. There's no sign of yellow when you put this on my skin. Let me just show you what I mean. No yellow, no nothing. It matches with my skin tone. It's like somebody made it for me. But I did go and get matched. Right? And it looks so beautiful. And I thought, I can't really justify. I bought the compact one last year, which didn't last as long, even though there's as much in it. Now, I got one of these in the sale at... Um, because um, House of Fraser had 20% off everything and I had quite a bit of birthday money and I haven't spent it all yet either. So I purchased one of these and got a huge amount of money off. Right? A huge amount. This is, this is £215. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. But with 20% off, I thought I thought I was never going to be able to afford to buy again. And I thought, what the hell? i got birthday money and I'm getting 20% off. So I ordered one of those so I can now use up the precious few drops that are in here. Because my new bottle has arrived this morning. Along with... Shahina's going to like this. Along with... And I haven't even opened it yet, but I've had a sample. Vallea by Perfume de Mali. Can't wait to squirt that on. I love it. I got a, a sample off eBay. And it's really nice. And you like purple on me. Thank you. I love purple too. Now, so let's move on. So last week, you know that what arrived in the post as I was on here was my um, Carla Cosmetics order. So I'm going to show you some of the goodies because I didn't get a chance to show you them last week. I think I showed you the palette, didn't I? Um, and I'm going to do a video on all of these. But this is really good. Now, if you've got pigments... Um, Nina, you've got quite a few of these pigments, haven't you, from With Love Cosmetics? It's the wedding perfume, is it? Well, it certainly cheered me up. So if anyone's got these pigments, these loose pigments, right, and you're always, like, picking it up with your fingers or with a brush and you, you don't quite know. Now, you don't need to get this from Carla Cosmetics. They do them on Amazon, but I hadn't realised that these things existed. Silicon brushes. Now, Carla Cosmetics do too. They do this one, 
that's like it so you can put your pigment on as a liner and this one now what this does is it picks up the pigment and it kind of the the, the silicon helps it to stay on like this look see and then you dab it on and you don't get any fallout the way that you do when you use a brush Now, as I said, you can get these from Carla Cosmetics, the set. I got the set of two in a box for 15 quid. But then I realised that they sell them on Amazon quite cheaply. So have a look on Amazon. Um, and this one is a great... Um, this is a great um, idea as well. If you ever wanted to line with your pigments... This one, let me just show you how easy it is. I'm throwing my glasses on the floor now. Hold on. Better not break those because I definitely haven't got money after all this to be buying new glasses. Right, so this, again, you just pick some up. Can you see how it just sort of, it's like static. It just sticks to the silicon. And then you can go in here. And get a really thin line of your pigment. Now I don't know about you. But if I try and put that on with a brush. I get it halfway down here. So these are definitely worth looking at. So if you go onto Amazon. You can have a look at the set on Carla Cosmetics. I've got a little bit down there. But it's definitely easier. Um, if you go onto Amazon. Just look for silicon brushes silicon makeup brushes and i bet you can get loads of other shapes as well but if you've got pigments definitely definitely worth getting those did anyone know that they existed silicon brushes everyone seems as surprised as me And again, what I'll do afterwards um, is I'll find some, I'll find you some links. Because uh, I often play back my live and look at the live comments. I'll, I'll, I'll put the links again to, if I can see some. I'll put the link to the Carla ones, but I'll also put a link to the Amazon ones as well. Um, so definitely a great idea that. Now... I better move along, otherwise. Did I think I showed you this palette last week, and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put some of this on. Um, again, I'll do you a little video. These are just gorgeous, but I think it's possibly a bit expensive for what it is. But you know me and Terry. What you just said is I'm a sucker for purple, right? So. It's probably not the best value palette in the world because it was really expensive. It was seven, £69, which is a lot. But these shades are beautiful. They're all beautiful, but you've got these duochromes. Let me just show you. So you've got this one. You see that? And then you've got this one. They're just really pretty. And then you've got, I'm just going to show you on my fingers. You've got this one, which is a lovely burgundy plummy shade. And then you've got this one. And it, it's just, that screamed me. You know what I'm like with shades like this. So, as I say, not the cheapest in the world. It's definitely one of your indulgent treat palettes um but i i don't regret it you only knew about the silicon brushes for face masks there you go so we've all learned something oh stacy's got some silicon brushes well done stacy stacy's heard of them 
Do you use them a lot, Stacey? And of course, a great gift because the packaging on this is probably what costs the most money, but it's it's really pretty and it looks lovely on a dressing table. So that's my Carla Cosmetics. And this is called, I'll put all the details below afterwards. This is called the Romance Palette, okay? Then I got some, will I show the brushes again? Yes, I can show the brushes again. There you go. So there are two brushes, so you get one flat one. So that's good for kind of placing the, the uh, pigment on your lids like that. And you can get really nice cut crease because of the shape of it. And then you've got this one, which is shaped like a kind of, you know, one of those brow brushes, but it's really good for lining the lids. Because look, you can just pick up some and it kind of sticks to the, to the end and it gives you a nice sharp line. Do you know what else these would be quite good for as well as, as powder pigment? These would be good for applying the eyes to mesmerise, the cream eye shadows. Because I often find that I can't pick them up very easily. And these wash so easily, you can literally just wet them and wash them. Because they're just silicone. So, you know, you could pick up some, some of your eyes to mesmerise cream eye shadow and put that on like that and then take over blended it with your finger but you've you've been able to scoop some up on that so they'd be very good for that as well good i'm glad that it's helped now talking of loose pigments let's get get on and get through some of this stuff um this I got, which is Carla Cosmetics, when they first launched, this was her innovative product. And when I first bought from Carla Cosmetics in probably about 2018, this was virtually the only thing that she did because she actually invented this herself. It's a gel with aloe vera in it. Um, and it just helps um, eyeshadows just look more vibrant. So if I, I, I'm going to show you a little example of what I mean. So it's called the multi-use fixing gel. I may run out of time before showing you everything, but I'm enjoying showing you stuff. So you get like a gel. And by the way, you get so much in the pot. And they do a miniature version of this for about £8. Uh, this is... 21 pounds but they do a miniature for eight right you probably could get away with just getting the miniature one it's like a clear eye gel right and you literally you put some i'm going to put some on my arm here and let it dry down i've put too much on already i'm going to let that dry down for a minute and i'm going to put next to it I've put too much on, so it's going to take ages. It's going to take ages to dry down. Hang on. Right, it's just, it, and it's very cooling on the eyes. Do you remember they used to do this elderflower eye gel? Was it the body shop? I think, and it was very cooling if you had hay fever. It's, it reminds me a bit of that. Now, if I take some of this pigment... I should have got my little brush out, shouldn't I? If I take some of this uh, fairy dust from With Love Cosmetics. And I'm going to put some on my arm without the, without the, um, without that underneath. I'm going to put that here and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Let's do a generous amount so that it doesn't look like I'm, cheating and hopefully you'll see a difference so there there it is fairy dust right now i put the 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 carla um fix potion up here so now hopefully you're going to see a difference 
I really don't know. I haven't tried this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're going to see a difference, all right. There you go. Can you see how it just makes it pop? And it goes on far more uniformly. And it will work with glitters and everything else. So again, I'll put the link below to both sizes of that. It's definitely worth it. And it's very cooling. Even if you want to just use it um, in the summer, if you get really itchy eyes, it's got aloe vera in it and it's a clear gel. It's got no nasties in it and it's really comforting on the eyes. It will soothe your eyes, but it will also make a perfect base for your pigments. Yes, Shahina, you're right, the body shop. It's very, it reminds me of that, that, that elderflower eye gel that you used to be able to get. Can you still get it from the body shop? You've got that Pat McGrath version. Ah, Pat McGrath does a version of it. Is it a clear gel, Stacey? So look, look at the difference. That, that's without and that's with. And I wish you could see it in the light that I'm seeing it. It looks so pretty because you can see the gold. At the moment, all you're seeing is pink. So, and what you do is when you put on, say if you were doing an eye look now, is you'd say, say you put your pillow talk smoke up there. Right, and then you could you dab a bit of the fix potion on the eyelid and let it dry and then you just dab on your your pigment and it would just it will help it last longer as well. It's in a stick, yes, it's clear. Ah, right, okay. Easy to apply, no mess. That's probably a little bit easier to apply than this, but I don't know how they compare size wise, but okay, that's great. Thank you, Stacey. Um, Stacy, maybe you could review that so that people could see the difference between this, a comparison between this and the Pat McGrath one. That would be handy. I'm sure people would like to know, um, and, and the amounts as well. We can kind of compare them. Right, now next, pigments, pigments, pigments. So those of you that like your pigments, this one I just had to get. And again, it's going to frustrate me because you probably won't be able to see. Look, it's purple that goes into teal and it's called Lullaby. Oh, this is gorgeous. And I bet you it looks even better with that gel underneath. It comes in these little pots. I'm just going to take some off the top to show you. Look. Now, you can see it as teal. It is the best way to show it on your fingers. Look, as I turn my finger, it comes, it goes blue to purple. It's so pretty. It's like, you know that Charlotte Tilbury peacock shade that she bought out? Now, that's going to look teal, but to me it looks purple. As you turn it, it goes purple, blue. It's just stunning. Yes. It does. It's very similar to that Charlotte Tilbury one that... Um, oh, yes, I know which one you mean. You're thinking about the... Um, the colour... The pop shop, aren't you, Aisha? you thinking about the pop shop. It is quite similar to that one. I was thinking about Cleopatra, but I don't think that had purple in it. So that one's called Lullaby. And then we have... You saw the Dolly one that I've got as well. 
um because i use that under purple pigment this one which is ribbon which is a kind of baby powder blue but it looks lilac it looks kind of lilac so i got that one looks really pretty let me just show you that one good thing is i can just take some out of the lid look uh, let me put that I think this one shows up better when you put it on the hand and again you're seeing it blue I'm seeing it as lilac can you see the lilac as I turn my finger very very pretty so that one's called ribbon so I'm going to have lots of really creative eye looks in the next few weeks. Cosmic Rocks, that's all right. That's the one, Stacey. It's for that, that last one, Lullaby, is like Cosmic Rocks. So if you missed out on getting Cosmic Rocks, um, you can always go to Carla Cosmetics and buy Lullaby. And the last one, which I put on, if anyone saw my Instagram post, um, I put this on, on Coronation Day. Oh no, that's my, oh, that's another one. Oh my God. And that's Dolly. Where's the one that I had on, on Coronation Day? What have I done with it? Oh no. Right, there's another one. It must be in the other room somewhere. I hope I haven't lost it. But it is a really nice midnight blue that's called Midnight. And I had it on for Coronation Day. And I'm going to panic. I'll have to look for that afterwards because it's not in this bag. I hate it when I lose. Now, this, this one... I love messing with pigments. This one is is quite similar actually to the to the uh with love cosmetics one, perhaps a little pinker. This one is called Bougie Bay, but when I went to the checkout they said, "Oh, you can have this one for 8 pounds." And again, I'm just going to put that on here. And it, I'm seeing it as kind of aquamarine. And you're seeing it as gold. It's a great way to have fun. You like that one? What shade is the blue, Ali? The blue one's called Midnight. And it's the one that I was wearing on... Um, it was the one I was wearing for Coronation Day. And for some reason, I haven't got it here. And you've all seen Dolly and you've seen Stacey doing a demo with Dolly as well. That's a kind of lilac -y pink. So I won't swatch that again. Oh, what's happened to my midnight? It must be in the other room. Oh, I know where it is. See, I try things on and I, because I can't walk around at the moment, I've put slipped them in a bag so that I can use my crutches and then forget what bag I've slipped them into. Let's see, I might actually be able to show you it. I might just be able to show it you. No, it's not there. It'll be in the other room. So I'll have to show you that one another time. But when I do my video, I will show you. I'll show you Midnight. But it is a beautiful navy blue. And I think, Stacey, you'd like that one. The other light blue to lilac. Ah, the light blue to lilac one. That's the light blue to lilac one. And it's called Bougie Bay. 
Bougie Bay. What I'll do is I'll put the links and I'll describe what they they are. But when you go onto the website as well, you'll see the swatches and then it says in the description, lilac to such and such to such and such. But yeah, that's Bougie Bay. No, it's not. No, it's not. Sorry, Stacey. It's not Bougie Bay. Hang on. Sorry. Correction. It's Ribbon. Ribbon. Bougie Bay was was the other one. I'm really sorry. It's Bougie Bay was the other one. I'm confusing myself now. I will do swatches later and I'll put them on Instagram if that helps. Okay? But it, that was definitely ribbon. Right, that's that's all my Carla cosmetics. And how, how long have we been on? 46 minutes. And I still haven't shown you half the stuff. Right, this was another free gift I got from With Love Cosmetics and I haven't even used it yet, Nina. So they threw in a free palette when I ordered a couple of those um, uh, duo glitters because they were giving out freebies on Instagram when people bought these duos and I bought... I think I ended up buying four sets in the end. And so they threw in a palette. And I've got to do a little tutorial. As you can see, I've not even swatched it yet. That's what it looks like. Now this one at the moment, it's called the Gifted Palette. If anyone likes that colour story, you can get this on With Love Cosmetics. And it's reduced at the moment. And I believe from memory it's £10.50. But Nina, my researcher, can tell me. I believe it's reduced to £10.50. Is that right, Nina? This is called Gifted Palette. So I've got to do you a little look with that. You've ordered that one and you're still waiting. Oh, Terry, I'm sure it'll get to you, but international shipping. I'm still waiting on some of the things. Yes, it's £10, Nina said. I thought it was ten fifty. so thank you. It's even better. It's a tenner. Right, so I'll do a little look with that soon. Let me know the order you want me to do videos of things in. Right, that's my With Love Cosmetics. Ah, it's not quite, because my sister, my sister purchased me a couple of glitters for my birthday. I'm going to have to get another palette now, an empty palette to put them in. This was my on my wish list, and I held back in case I got it for my birthday, and I did. This one, Azure. Which is a beautiful blue. I won't open it now because I'll get glitter everywhere. But unless you want me to. If you want me as your. If you want me to swatch it. Say now and I'll open it and swatch it. It is divine. Does anyone want me to swatch it? I don't mind. I can do that if you want me to. Well, I'll wait and see if you want me to swatch that. And the other one she got me was, uh, I think this is called Orange Burst. Swatch that and the gifted palette, okay? Orange Burst. I thought that would look lovely in the summer. and It might even look nice mixed in with a, a lipstick. Right. Let's let's swatch this um, Azure then and the Gifted Palette. Yes, please, to swatches. Okay. I'll sw swatch them all then. I'll switch them all. I'll swatch them all. 
Okay, so this one is azure. I de I should have brought my tissues in, and I took my I took my wipes upstairs. Right. Oops. This one's quite soft, actually. It's a bit crumbly. Hmm. Look at that. It's a bit crumbly. Well, never mind. I can always use the uh, fixing gel underneath. That's unusual. I haven't had one like that before. It's a little bit lacking in um, glue. Yeah, it's it's not actually doing it justice because it's crumbling a bit. Not quite sure why it's done that. But it's it's a lovely purpley shade. I can certainly fix that. Because I also I'm waiting, my sister's got a present waiting for me in in hers, which is the NYX glitter glue. So I can certainly fix that with mi mixing it with a bit of glitter glue. But I have to say that's the first glitter I've got from with Love Cosmetics where that's been a problem. So I'm I'm not quite sure why that is, but normally they go on really evenly. Yeah, it's not going to work. Okay, so that is the the azure. Hello, Pam's Reviews. Thank you. Now, let's do the orange burst and then I'll do the palette. Now, here's orange burst. Now that's more like how they normally apply. The other one just didn't have enough glue in it. Isn't that pretty? Got a little bit of pink, a bit of yellow and a bit of orange. So that's called Orange Burst, if you're interested in that one. And there's quite a few of those reduced at the moment. Some of them are six, some of them are seven pounds. So I'm just putting them in there because I need another palette. Yes, it's like, it's like a pumpkin shade. Right, palette, palette, palette for Terry. I'm going to run out of arms by the end of this, aren't I? Here we go, let's swatch the palette. So it looks like, so there's one, two, three, four, five mattes and then one two three four five six seven shimmers one of them candy apple has got a little bit of a shimmer in it but not as much okay so let's uh let's start swatching this baby well right, i'll start with the the shimmers Right, that's Sand Dollar. This is Gingerbread. Oh, of course, because Terry's waiting on this, aren't you? That's Gingerbread. Terry, that's going to look lovely. Those two are going to look lovely on your eyes. Right, then Walnut. And that one. That reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury Colour Chameleon in Bronze Garnet. 
and the pop shop in the similar shade. And I haven't bought it, so I can't remember the name. Come on, Stacey, what's Bron what's the pop shop that's in that kind of shade called? Bet Stacey knows. You adore the heart of nudes palette. Very good quality. Yeah, and you can feel that these have got again that kind of glueiness to the I can't really describe it, but you know that they're not going to crumble, which is why I'm just, I can't understand what's going on with that Azure. Lover's Diamond. Thank you, Stacey. Yeah, this one looks like Lover's Diamond a bit. It's not as shimmery as the Pop Shots. Right, and then we've got, I'm just going to do all the shimmers first. We've got wine. Do you know what? I was just thinking. I was trying to work out what to get my stepdaughter. She's got very different colouring to me. She's got very fair sort of Irish skin, if you know what I mean. Very fair Irish skin and she's got red hair. And I'm just thinking this might look really nice on her. I might get her one. And then that so those are all the shimmers. And then then we got this one that's oh no, hang on, I've missed one. Red ribbon. That actually isn't a matte, it's a shimmer but it's subtle. And then Candy Apple, which has got this slight shimmer to it, I think. Or maybe, no, it's not. It's just, you know what it is? It's just some shimmer from one of the other shades, I think. Candy Apple. Right, then we're on to the mattes. Holly, I'm going to just put this up here. Holly. Plum. Let's try that one again. Don't forget, sometimes just because they don't swatch very well on the arm doesn't mean that they won't blend beautifully on the eyes. They feel very um, soft. Then we've got Penny. Penny Copper. I nearly said Penny Cooper then. Penny Copper, Apricot, and that's it. So that's your palette that would cost you £10. Lovely colour story. Really nice for spring, actually, because you've got your pinks. But you've also got, like, if you want um, a bit more of a neutral Thing going on you've got your neutrals there and you've got that matte um but you've got these nice vibrant shades as well yeah i'm i thought you would and terry i can just see them on you as i say that especially these sorts of shades because they'll bring out your eye color now what do you think red hair and pale skin. Is that something I should get for my stepdaughter? I haven't got to worry because I don't think she watches my channel. Yes? I might get her that. I was going to order her something from P. Louise. Because I like the... I think that P. Louise... P. Louise is good at the packaging if you're giving somebody a gift. But that looks like a gift as well. So I might go for that. Right. Now. Other things. I've got some shortbread. I've got some chocolates. Now from Jack, I forgot to bring this in. From Jack. Jack gets me very 
unusual presents. But I love them. They're so sweet because he thinks about what I like. But then he sort of takes a very weird twist to it. Um, and I, you know, I just love what my son picks for me. It doesn't really matter what he picks for me. I just love that he's thought about it and he's thought what I'd like. And he knows that I love the Back to the Future trilogy. So he bought me a big Back to the Future mug, which is Marty McFly. But it's got rubber around the side. Now, this is where the thought comes in. Because often, and I think this is something to do with my spina bifida. Because I've got very poor sensation in my feet. I think that my hands compensate and my hands are ultra sensitive and I can never hold those cups that come out of the machines because they're always too hot. They burn me and everyone else going, that's not hot. And they're carrying theirs around. And for me, it's burning me. I've got it on do not disturb. Can you hear me now? Hello? Can You can hear me? No one was calling me. Great. My Wi-Fi just suddenly disconnected. And I was trying to message you all to say, stick with me, I'm still here. But no, no, no one dares call me now. I put it on Do Not Disturb. Right. I don't know what I was saying a minute ago, but never mind. It can't have been important, as my mum would say. Um... Oh, yes, Back to the Future. So where he actually really, really um, thinks about it is because basically this, because it's rubber on the outside, it doesn't carry the heat, so it feels cool, even though there's a hot drink inside. So it's really sweet, and I loved it. I really loved it. Um, so that was from Jack. So then I, oh, here it is. Here it is. I've brought it in with me. The rubber on the mug. Yeah, look. There you go. It's Marty McFly and the rubber on the mug. And it's a nice big mug as well. So that was from Jack. And he ordered it himself. And there, look. Back to the future. He said, I was going to get you Doc Brown, but he could have been anyone. He said, whereas that just looked like Marty. So that was very sweet. Now, from my, um, I'm just wanting to make sure now that I've got, I haven't got makeup on my hands before I pick this up. This is from my niece and her boyfriend. My niece is training to be a doctor and her boyfriend is a paramedic. So it's very, gonna come in very handy. Um, from Mia Tui, a phone bag. And I love this because any any bags where I can go hands-free, this is cross-body bag. There's the thing to go cross-body. And there's also a wrist strap. The phone goes in the front. If you haven't checked out Mia Tui yet, they've got lovely selection of bags. And then you've got your purse in the middle and you zip it up um so if i need to go out i've got enough room for my money my phone and you know a few bits and pieces and that's it not my lipsticks and stuff but i've got a bigger bag for that that's also hands-free you like that bag well i've got a matching um rucksack that turns from a rucksack to a cross body bag which is great for me when i'm using my crutches um so yeah really nice um so i've been thoroughly spoiled and i'm not done yet i'm not gonna have time to watch the next item which is another makeup item but i will put out a video on it um Oh, I didn't put that strap. Let's put that in there. My sister got me a bundle from P. Louise. 
came in a lovely big box. And this is the Mummy palette. And I, apps, I can't wait to try this. Because what other colours do I like to wear other than purple? Oops. I didn't want everybody to see what's my messy room in the background. Hang on. There you go. Greens, greens, greens. But that's not all. Green. Yeah, but look at this. Hang on. There's a little drawer in the bottom. And there's more green. And this is what I mean about for gifts. P. Louise stuff is so pretty. That's a lot of green. Yes, very. That's a lot of green. Now, even Mick, who normally goes, more makeup, more makeup. He looked down at that box. He said, that's nice. So... Because you could see in the box. Now in this little set, this was um this was um me trying to multitask. This was a, a bundle she got. And she did ask me to write some stuff down and she said, What bundles do you like on P. Louise? And she said, I think you've got she did suggest this one to me. Um in the bundle, you got that. You got. I don't know if this bundle is still available. Sorry about that. That's my phone char needing to charge in a minute, but I've got a charger, so don't worry. You got a uh, melt away, which takes off your makeup, and. Two other things. An eyeliner, which is green, both sides. Again, I'm just going to rush through now because we're going to run out of time and I'm going to run out of battery. But I will review all this. And then this set, which is called Bad Bitch Energy. And it's got a lip salve and a lip oil in it in strawberry daiquiri scent. Now, I don't, I haven't opened the melt away and it's going to be a bit tricky, but uh, Nina, to open it right now because it's got that sealed plastic. But what I'll do is drop me a line and remind me and I'll open it later. I'm going to have to get a knife. You know, it's one of those that you really got to, and I'll let you know. Yeah, oh, of course. Just drop me a line so that I re reminds me in case I forget. This is, this is the, um, the two, the lip oil and the the lip balm. And the great thing about the lip balm, let me just show you the lip balm. Now these come in so many different um, sizes, so many different fragrances or flavors. The great thing I love about this lip balm is that you can clip it onto your handbag. Like that, so if your lips get dry during the day, and you're a bit addicted to your lip balm, you can just clip it onto your bag. I haven't worn makeup lately. I have a lot of makeup and skincare to my daughter. I need to get back into it. You will, Pam. You will. Hopefully, I've given you the motivation. There are days that I really can't be bothered to get out my pyjamas. But when I put my makeup on, it lifts me. It gives me that lift. And talking to you guys gives me that lift. So, you know, even if you just put a little bit of a... You know days when you, you literally think, oh, the world's taking you over. Just put a bright lipstick on and put, pop a bit on your cheeks and a bright lipstick on and you immediately feel so much better and look how it comes with this little straw in the top so it looks like a drink 
Um, what else? What else? Oh, I got a couple of different powders of Makeup Forever to try out, right? Which go with the Makeup Forever palettes, which are upstairs. And I've done a comparison review. That's coming next. And then I'll follow with the powders. And I've got, I think this is the last thing now. The last thing. So I've been thoroughly spoiled. Um, I bought these myself. These were on offer on Look Fantastic. And I hope they're still on offer on Look Fantastic. Because I did that review the other day and they, they were sold out. Real Techniques Travel Brush Kit. Um, it's normally $19.99, but if you use LF22, you should get it for $15. You get a little brush for powder. All in this bag, you get a little contour brush. You get... Uh, This one, which is another little, maybe a blush brush. No, the light palette, I think it's very popular. Hopefully it'll come back soon. You get, you like cute little brushes. Well, you'll love this. So you get a little spoolie. Little spoolie. I'm not done yet. You get a big chunky, I think this is um, the concealer brush. Expert Concealer Brush. Yes, it is. It says Mini Expert Concealer Brush. There's one downside to this. And I'm going to tell you what it is in a minute. There's a mini shading brush. So good for putting your eyeshadow on your mobile lid. Because it's kind of flat. Then you get... There's four more to go. You get a little, a little liner brush. And this is called a mini definer brush. You get a mini smudge brush. Again, for smudging eyeshadow. You get a mini base shadow brush. So that's good for windscreen wiping. And you get a medium shadow brush, which is good for even more windscreen wiping. The only thing I was a bit annoyed about in this set, although it's very good value, is for some reason it doesn't have a foundation brush. And so I'm going to buy one separately and I can buy one on Amazon for a fiver. But I really wanted a little mini foundation brush to go in it as well. But I'll have to buy that separately. And it's interesting because Amazon do this set. And they they do a kit where you can get the you can get this and the foundation brush. So they must know that it's missing the foundation brush. Um but as I say, if you do go on to look fantastic, try it. Find it on Look Fantastic and put in LF22 and you should get it for £15. Phew! Right, I'm exhausted now. I don't know about you. I'm going to get going. Um, if I'm going to try and put up all the details. If there's anything that I've missed, let me know. Now, before I go, don't go yet. Don't go yet. Before I go. Right, I promised you a little quiz to win that duo. Do you remember the duo? And I haven't got it with me because it's upstairs and I can't walk at the moment. But the duo, the Puppuccino duo from um, With Love Cosmetics. I bought an extra one to give away on my channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you all a question, right? And allow me to use my discretion about whether I accept wrong answers. Because really what I want to do is repay loyalty. 
And that's why I'm asking you a question which loyal followers should know the answer to. If you follow me and you get the question wrong, but I know that you've been following me for a while, I might use my discretion and let the entry go through, okay? If you don't normally follow me and you've just popped on here, I've never seen you before and you get it wrong, I might, I might not. But that's my discretion. It's my quiz and it's my giveaway. So I'm not going to apologise. Don't send me hate things because I don't care, right? I'm repaying loyalty and I'll do some more giveaways soon, all right? But so this is for the Puppuccino duo. Um, go and have a look on... Um, oh, you won't see it. On with love cosmetics i'll put a picture on instagram later now here's the question what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you a question leave your comments not here on the live chat but after the live leave your comment with the answer and i'm going to assign you a number and then i'll do a random generator thing and generate the number and it doesn't matter where you are in the world i'll send it wherever you are i don't want to exclude people out of the uk so here's the question before I leave and before my battery runs out. Here's the question. You all know that I'm really into Charlotte Tilbury. And I've talked a lot about my first purchases with Charlotte Tilbury. One of the first purchases I ever got was a full iconic look. But which iconic look was it? Now leave your answers below after this live. And I will get, reply with a number and then I will do a, a live when I call out and, and do a random generator and I'll announce the winner. All right. So the question is, you all know I'm into Charlotte Tilbury. One of the first things I purchased was a full iconic look. Which one was it? All right. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you all very soon. Don't forget to like the live and I'll see you all soon. Mwah.